It's been one year since I started doing YouTube and how is it going? Well, I would like to say that my numbers are speak only one part of the story. For me, YouTube has done a lot more for me than what you're going to see here, but I'll get into that in a minute. First of all, just after a whole year of working my ass off on making high tech uh, AI videos explaining stuff and a lot of other tools and producing the code and doing games and all that work, my greatest view count is on me sitting at a restaurant taking a video of a, of a steak. And one of the other highest ones that has always bothered me was a helicopter was flying around outside and I zoomed in on it and yeah, I've gotten like four and a half thousand views on that. So 8,000 views and 4,000 views. And a few of the other ones were just my uh, kids, which I, I try to not take any videos of nowadays, um, but they're already up there. So leaving them up there. Um, so my dashboard will tell you how much I've had. So I've got 671 subscribers. And if I go to my analytics and I look at it for my say lifetime, you can see that I have like basically started around here. I think this is this is the one of my son back in 2021 when I was walking him around during uh, COVID and he was saying something funny. But uh, yeah, so the last year, which is where I'm at right now, this is how it's gone. I've got 226,000 views, which I think is unbelievable. And I'm sorry for the people that have had to listen to my voice for that amount of time, or have had to, you chose to. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that it says I have 1.8K hours of watch time because if I'm on the YouTube app on my phone, it says it's something like 700 and I really don't understand how YouTube uh, just does this. But anyhow, I'm 3,000 hours to get within a year to get um, uh, your earning. But I, I haven't been truly aiming to get it for earning, mostly because I knew I wasn't going to get it for years and years. And I guess even when I do get it, I'm not actually going to be getting a lot from it, considering the content that I've been producing. And um, furthermore, I have to talk about the content that I've been producing and what I'm going to be producing next. See, I'm actually in the process, and you can't see, um, I'm in the process of moving house. And uh, after I move house, I'll actually be moving into another job. And then when I move into that other job, I'll be there for a couple of weeks. And then I'm going on holiday for a month during uh, November over in Japan, which I, that's probably where a lot of my content is going to be now for the next while. And then I'm going over to Philippines with my wife's family. And then I'm coming back to start my new job. And my new job actually leads onto my YouTube channel. So by I moved over here to Australia from New Zealand and my previous job was uh, very cool. I was working with virtual reality headsets. I was working with augmented reality. I was working with 3D scanning machines. Uh, I guess I can say the company, it's all over LinkedIn. I was working in Trimble and it was a wonderful place to work and I think it's amazing. Um, and I came over here and I was like, okay, what am I gonna do now? And for the first while of being here, I had to uh, uh, like, you know, my, my kids and uh, well, my wife uh, had to go to work and I was, my wife suggested, hey, do a YouTube channel, you know, uh, you know, dad loan my kids for a while. And it was very hard, you know, like if you have two young kids and you're trying to record them and you're, dad, you kind of feel a bit weird after a while. I was like, hey, do that funny thing again. I've got a camera on you. Well, um, yeah, so I decided to do my own content more so and I didn't, I was doing that at the time, but I was also building another website. And uh, yeah, so I had no job up until about uh, January, from September to January. And it was actually bothering me quite a lot. And uh, then I started applying quite a bit more. And uh, I got a job and the guy that gave me the interview um, loved that I had been making stuff on YouTube uh, and saw that I had a lot of technical skill and stuff like that. And um, yeah, hired me from based on that. So I had less than 200 or 300 subscribers at the time, um, if I'm lucky. And uh, because of the content that I produce, which if you're not sure if you're first time coming to this channel, my content is highly niche. It's AI tools and uh, uh, science uh, based uh, demonstrations. And, uh, you know, it's 
it's kind of random. It's kind of not. It's kind of whatever takes my fancy uh, that night. If I have an idea in the morning, I'm like, oh, God, I really need to make that. I really need to make that. Something that really bothers me is not knowing how to do something that I'm interested in. So I make it. And then I feel satisfied and I can move on. I said, OK, I can sleep now. And bloody hell do I sleep because I go to sleep sometimes at like one, two, three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, oh, OK, finally, that's finished. And my recording on my videos is pretty poor, I'd say, uh, or at least the editing, because a couple of times I spent a lot of time editing and, you know, no views. And I realized I have no skills in editing. So, um, yeah, I just do recordings of what I made, I put the code up in the description and I go, there you go. And I hope that the title and the hashtags and stuff sorts itself out. But, you know, like one of my biggest, biggest videos here, uh, Reflection 70B running on an A6000. Uh, I think I was lucky with the algorithm that day because everybody was looking for Reflection uh, that's in that community. And it's, you know, it's not big by other people's standards, but it's big for my channel. Or the, the other one that was quite big for me, which was uh, the fastest growing GitHub, the deep fake. So I turned my face into DiCaprio or whatever on live video and uh, how to do that. And I had to make a couple of recordings of that. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, no. Uh, so this has been my channel. But one of the other inspirations for me to do this, which is uh, something that I've been planning to do for a while, but I just haven't gotten around to, was uh, this game. Uh, well, not particularly this game so much as my colleague back in New Zealand who made this game. It's uh, One Million Zombies, and uh, he made it uh, saying this is his year to, uh, you know, do something for himself. And yeah, when I was watching him make the game, um, I found it quite uh, therapeutic to play. So I thought I'd give it a go here today. Um, so this is out to you, Dan. Darn. Um, yeah, oh, I should turn on the sound, but okay. So I haven't played this game since it's come out uh, or since I, since he was making it, actually. I promised him I would, but he actually did this in a very amazing way and he super impressed me with how he's done it because I, and I have the sound off right now because I can't talk with music in the background, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, again, this is very therapeutic. So, um, yeah, he did this, uh, yeah, I won't go into too much detail, but he did it, in, I think, in Unity and uh, uses a uh, very low, um, uh, sorry, it uses shaders and uh, it can, you can, there's so many zombies here, right? And it runs really smooth on any computer. And I was highly impressed and he always like super impressed me about all the stuff that he was doing. And, uh, yeah, it was a bit of inspiration, and I thought, okay, when I get to Australia, I'll start doing stuff. And, um, yeah, I actually feel as though, after one year of working on this, I feel like I've done a lot. I, um, I got one amazing job working with a company called Law Lab, and I'm going to be working in a new company soon, and um, I'm about to go off and do a bunch of other stuff. Now, I know there's um, a lot that uh, there is left to do. Um, but in my new role, I won't be able to do the high tech videos as much because I have to focus on doing that for my the new company. But I am hoping to do uh, a couple of other, I, I'm hoping to explore the YouTube community or the YouTube platform a bit differently. So I'm gonna be setting up something with a couple of colleagues of mine, uh, friends, and we're gonna do like a somewhat of a podcast thing because in the new building that I'm moving to there's a podcast room and we're going to talk um, hopefully not some shit but something entertaining something interesting something that people like and um, yeah I, I know there's a way to do some other cool things in this like you can bring a bomber in um, oh I should have a draw oh V it says it there okay so V this is cool. Oh, oh, I killed myself. Okay, I need to do that again. Right, I guess I can actually play this game and talk at the same time. Okay, so I've got five bombers, five drones, and I press B for that, and it should be coming in. Whoa, okay, let's see if we can see it this time. Okay, cool. He's done an amazing job with 
this since I started playing it a while ago. Oh, I have a shield. My shield is going down. Okay. I guess I should be using the machine gun in front of me. Um, what's the C do? Okay. Um, here, the arms are amazing. This is so fun. Look at that. I'm loving this. Ah, get out of here. Um, I believe uh, it's still one person team that is doing this. And uh, what an amazing job. Ooh, okay, let's see if I can do N for the flamethrowers. That was right click as well. Okay, and machine gun is doing quite well. Just spray and pray. And um, let's do another C. Oh, that's camera view. Oh, awesome. Okay, that's cool. Look at that. So it's a, a Kiwi game, New Zealand based game. And it's done by one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. And big inspiration for me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Reversing. Don't want to crash into that thing again. Okay. So target is 30,000, and I think I've killed not 30,000. Uh, okay, but I'm killing quite a bit. Um, okay, so my YouTube channel, I don't like being inside the, inside the vehicle, but okay. Um, yeah, so I've got YouTube channel. Um, I have covered my the inspiration, which is this game and my friend. And uh, I'm now moving into a new job. I'm moving into new content, and I really want to get to thirty thousand. Oh yeah, that's another thing that I'm thinking of. When I'm making a YouTube channel or YouTube thing, I am very much interested in getting in the numbers, just because it goes up. Um, uh, I have no idea why, and you know, I, it kicks me in the nuts whenever I see that something goes down. I uh, like even if it's one or two, and I know that if I actually just leave my YouTube channel alone for a while. Eventually, it'll go up a little bit here and there. Um, and I really do appreciate anybody watching it, but I, I'm never going to be making any money off of uh, YouTube, or at least I don't think so. Although, saying that, that's another thing. Um, I have been given an opportunity to be an affiliate for a company, and they wanted me to uh, talk about their product, and I might do that in another video. Um, basically, I, it's a combination of doing... Um, uh, different uh, large language models all under one system. I haven't tried it out myself. It will be in another tech video of mine. But again, my channel is going to be moving on to doing other things for my experimentation as well as uh, seeing how it goes. I don't see a reason for me to stop doing this. Although I will admit, oh, I've run out of, oh, you run out of bullets. That's not nice. Okay, I got rockets though. Okay. Ooh. I, I, oh, okay. wow, and it has exploded physics. Okay. Let's have a look. I got shield of 43%. I should be able to drive through some stuff. Let's go with V. And we, what was the rockets? M. Okay, my, I'm getting damage. Okay, and I got no more bullets. So I should have been just driving through these guys a bit more. And do I get damage when I crash into them? I do not appear to get damage when I crash into them. That's good. But I do when I crash into trees. Okay. I think with the way that I'm doing this, I'm not going to get... Oh, there's... Okay, pay attention to the map. There is something, a dot, around here. What is that? Okay, is that the lamp post? The lamp post dot? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I did, there's a, another one here. Repair, yay! Vehicle repaired, okay, cool. Now let's have a look and see if there's any. Oh, is that is that ammo over there? Okay. Oh, big Bertha over there. Okay, sorry. 
ammo. Give me ammo. Yes. Okay, I got ammo again. This is good. Okay. Sorry, there's a lot of okays are good. Um, yeah, so one year YouTube, killing zombies, uh, inspiration, making new content. Uh, this would be classified as new content, I guess, because it's gaming, um, murder, mayhem, flying to Japan, moving to a new house, got a new job, can't do too many tech stuff anymore. And yeah, I'm almost at 30,000. And then I'm going to end it because, again, it's it's like the, the numbers thing. You just you know, got to have a little the numbers go up. I think this game is actually awesome. I played a lot of other... I used to be a massive gamer, um, but like a nerdy kind of gamer, you know, uh, super strategy, that kind of thing, uh, grand strategy. I don't think I was as good as some people. A couple of my friends were quite amazing at gaming, um, especially car games, which I guess this is kind of classified as a car game. Um, but Oh, okay. Am I, am I, what's it called? Because I don't need to use the fire so much. This is fun. What happens when you get to... Oh, okay. So if I get to 30,000, I guess I would have just um, passed game. Okay, past level. Six minutes. Okay, cool. Right, so um, thank you, Darren, for your inspiration. And I hope that uh, you people do like to come to my channel at some point. Okay, uh, have a good night. Bye.